Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live broadcast here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are in Conroe, Texas, by way of satellite. Don't you just love modern technology? Good evening. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. We are ready to give you tonight's action between the Caney Creek Panthers and the Waller Bulldogs. Waller coming off a huge win on last week for homecoming against the Cleveland Indians. Bulldogs victorious by the score of 50 to 6 as they get ready to take their show on the road to see if they could come back with back-to-back wins. Second week of district play and the Caney Creek Panthers And the Bulldogs sit on top of the district thus far. A stunning upset, if you would, last week with the Magnolia West Mustangs taking care of the Lufkin Panthers. So it's early in the season, but I'm sure Coach Gene Johnson wouldn't have it any other way. We're going to take a quick break and we'll get ready for tonight's action between the Walla Bulldogs and the Caney Creek Panthers. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Keep it right where you got it. We will be right back. We'd like to take this time to recognize our sponsors and supporters at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Prairie View Athletic Club, Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Diva Skin Conditioner, Helping Hands Lawn Service. Thank you for your support of our local and regional coverage of student athletics here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. At 17 cents a day, you can make a huge impact on our local and regional high school and college student athletic coverage. We provide local talk shows, live game coverage, and much, much more. But we need your support to continue to move forward. Visit our website today at obnradio.com. Click on the PayPal button, which is safe and secure, and become a listening partner today. Will you become part of the Open Mic Broadcast Network team? Visit that website at obnradio.com and become a listening partner today. Broadcasters come into our lives on radio and TV, bringing us information and entertainment. Broadcasters are there for us, but who is there for them when they fall on hard times? The Broadcasters Foundation of America provides financial assistance to broadcasters in acute need due to a critical illness, accident, or other serious misfortune. If you know of a broadcaster on the air or behind the scenes who may need our help, please share our message. Visit broadcastersfoundation.org. Are you looking to expand your business or services? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network help lead the way. With our customized campaigns, we are definitely able to reach your target audience. For more information, dial 832-213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics. The voice of student athletics. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are moments away from kickoff between the Waller Bulldogs and the Caney Creek Panthers. Friday night football action here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We have some other games going on throughout Waller County, Texas. 
you have the Royal Falcons. They will be taking on LaGrange on tonight. Hempstead will be taking on Hitchcock. Rose Hill Christian Eagles will be taking on Brazos. I'm sorry, not Brazos, but Cypress Christian School tonight in TAPS action. We'll be keeping you updated on scores throughout the night's contest and beyond. As we get ready for tonight's contest, the Bulldogs looking to have back-to-back successful weeks as they were victorious over the Cleveland Indians, not the baseball team, but the high school right off of 59 up there toward Shepard in that game 50 to 6 was the final score. Bulldogs coming in with a young team, but a young team that's got experience, if you would. They had some growing pains on last season, but Coach Gene Johnson has them locked, geared, and ready to go. Hyman is the head coach at Caney Creek, and we have a couple of players, key players that you have to look out for for them on tonight. The wide receiver slash running back will be Mr. Milo, uh, John Milo is his name. He wears number two. Number six at receiver will be Mr. Uh, Cameo Besaw. Quarterback, Mr. Do-It-All, will be none other than Mr. Christian Aguilar. Of course, the Bulldogs come well packaged themselves, but before we get to the Bulldogs and giving them well packaged off, you have a couple of defensive standouts for the Panthers. Number 30, Mr. Brandon Lewis, and number 46, Mr. Um, I'm sorry, can't even read my whole writing there. I'm sorry, Samuel, forgive me, Samuel Gallagher, Samuel Gallagher will be one to look out for for the Panthers on tonight. As far as the Bulldogs are concerned, they're led by quarterback sophomore Mr. Goffrey. Goffrey will be wearing number 12, as we mentioned, and he will be leading the charge for the Bulldogs. We have Stewart. And Mr. Lewis will be in the backfield, 24 and 21. Have other key players that we'll be looking out for on tonight's action. As the national anthem has just been presented, the teams will be coming out for the toss of the coin here momentarily. And we'll have us some Friday night football right here ready to go momentarily want to thank you guys so much for joining in with us on tonight want to thank our sponsors on tonight brass valley schools credit union located in waller texas but they have 13 locations to better serve you attorney lee van richardson located in hempstead texas temple of refuge ministries located in prairie view texas we want to thank the good people from the prairie view athletic club also cannot forget helping hands lawn service helping hands lawn service serving waller county And we also want to give a nice, round, hearty welcome and thanks to Diva Skin Conditioner, located at DivaFeet.com. The Bulldogs will be in their gray road uniforms, maroon lettering, white trim, white helmets on tonight. Caney Creek in their scarlet red uniforms with black numbers, black helmet, black pants. And the toss... And it looks as if the Bulldogs will be receiving the ball going from left to right as the teams get ready for tonight's contest here. And we're ready to get things started on the way. Live from Caney Creek in Conroe, Texas. This is a familiar territory. These teams have met before in district play with the UIL realignment of this year UIL has found it fit for Caney Creek to be lined back up with the Waller Bulldogs as well as other formidable foes now we do have the Lufkin Panthers as we mentioned came off a stunning loss to Magnolia West on last week the teams are fired up ready to go 
it looks like the Bulldogs will be kicking off going from left to right as we get ready to start our first 2020 broadcast coverage here for Bulldog Action. Bulldogs and the Panthers ready to get things going. Kick is lined up and kick relatively deep and will be received at the two-yard line, running with plenty of room up the middle, still on the feet, finally taken down. Look for the spot on this one as the officials are deciding how they're going to get this lined up. It's going to be first down for the Panthers. Panthers going from right to left on your dial. Red tops, black helmets, black pants looking like I guess the Texas Tech Raiders. There's going to be a handoff and not getting anywhere on there was the featured back number two, as we may mention to uh, not Aguilar, forgive me, still getting acclimated with the Caney Creek roster. Very minimal gain. And it's going to be second down, and we'll call it eight for the Bulldogs. There's another handoff straight up the middle. And once again, trying to carry it low for the second consecutive run for the Panthers. Get a little minimal gain there, and it will be second down. That was John Milo. Two plays, two runs for the Panthers. Aguilar back in the shotgun position. He rolls back. He wants to pass. Throws the ball. And it's going to be incomplete. And it's going to bring up fourth down for the Panthers. Bulldogs defense holding up thus far here in the early part of the game. We do want to apologize. We do not have the, on the depth chart who the actual punt return would be for the Bulldogs, but we will work on that as soon as possible. Showing punt, no rush. That ball is going to be a short kick, retrieved and called for the fair catch and letting it go, and it's going to bounce inside the 40-yard line, be right at the 38-yard line where the Bulldogs will take over first down and 10. I want to thank, once again, Brazos Valley School Credit Union being our featured sponsor here on tonight's broadcast coverage. Mike Prince here with you for Bulldog Friday Night Football Action here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Mr. Godfrey and Com Company coming out. Checking things out. Takes the snap. There's going to be a handoff, a big run to the right side, still breaking off defenders. And wow, getting more than enough for the first down on the first run off the right side, split the guard in the tackle for a pickup. Should be a first down as the Bulldogs huddle back up. And that was a run by Mr. Lewis. Marvin Lewis coming back home after being at Hempstead. And so it will be second down, and that pass was an attempt incomplete by Goffrey. Bulldogs just getting on the way. This is possession number one for the Bulldogs. Shotgun position. Now for Godfrey. Stewart in the backfield lined up to his right side. Split receiver to the left. Stewart goes in motion to the left. The snap. Godfrey with a pump and throws it. That's going to look like we got a stoppage in the play right now. 
see exactly what's going on. It's going to be an all size penalty against the Panthers. So, Bulldogs will take advantage of that. First penalty of the night will go against Caney Creek. So now back in action here, Bulldogs, another run off to the left side. And that's going to be a pickup of about three yards. It's that time that was Stewart running to the left side, picking up some positive yards. It'll be second down and seven right now for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs going from left to right on the dial. Gray tops, white pants, white helmets. Nice look for the Bulldogs. There's a quick pass to the left side, and it looked like that was intended for number eight, if I'm not mistaken. We are actually doing this by way of remote, so some of the numbers will be a little challenging to pick up on, but we'll work it out as best as we can. Pass was incomplete, nonetheless. Third down and seven for the Bulldogs. Godfrey checking over the defense, calls for his man. He takes it, swings to his left. He's going to be flushed and rushed and sacked. A big play by one of the defensive notables for the Panthers. And that was number 46 applying pressure. For the Panthers, number 46 being Samuel Gal Gallagher. Samuel Gallagher on the sack. So it sets the Bulldogs back just a touch. So they get ready to replay here. Bulldogs, first possession of the night. There's a snap to Godfrey. Godfrey wants to throw. And Godfrey has that one batted down. Panthers getting plenty of pressure up front. As we got another discussion with the officiating crew. See if they're going to call anything or let it. Well, there's going to be a holding now against the Bulldogs. And that's going to set the Bulldogs back 10 yards. So a little shakiness here. As we get things started off here in tonight's action between the Panthers and the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs call for that penalty that set them back 10. Now ready to go in another big pressure play by the Panthers. And... That is going to bring out the, the punt unit as the ball was fumbled. Godfrey scrambling for life and just kind of threw that one away. And it's going to bring out the punting unit. So the Bulldogs not able to get much going in their first possession just as the Panthers had a little struggle. Bulldogs now will show punt. Ball is snapped. The kick is going to be somewhat of a short kick. Caught and great coverage by the Bulldogs. Looked like the ball came loose prematurely, but they're going to say it was down. It'll be first down and 10 for the Panthers. The Panthers and the Bulldogs doing action here. Friday night action here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The ball is going to be at the 22-yard line. Seven minutes and 41 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Aguilar back in the shotgun position for the Panthers. He has Milo in the backfield. Esau goes in motion. There's going to be a handoff to Milo running to the left side. He got a little blocking room, hits the corner, picks up about six, seven yards. 
It's going to be second down for the Panthers. A little jet sweep action from the Panthers. Milo running to the left, had a little cushion, hit that corner pretty quick, and was forced out of bounds. Second down, we'll call it four. Aguilar in the shotgun position. Looking over the defense, takes a snap, looks, drops back, wants to go up top, looking for B-Saw, and that ball was almost intercepted. Great coverage that time on the Bulldogs' defensive side to cover the ground on that one. Looks like it may have been the free safety in on that one. For the Bulldogs, we'll try to get you that information here momentarily. It's going to bring up a third down and four for the Panthers. Panthers on their side of the 50-yard line. Rolling out his Aguilar to his right. He's got a lane to run in and great open field tackle. Did the ball come loose? I want to say he was down. Great open field tackle by the Bulldogs' defensive pursuit. And with that, it's going to bring out the punting unit again for the Bulldogs, for the, the Panthers, forgive me, on the pursuit with that one. Looked like that was number 44, McLean, for the Bulldogs. So the punt unit is now out. For the Panthers. Uh, we got some stoppage on the field. And it looks like we're going to have us a slight little timeout right now. And with that, we're going to join the party and take a timeout with them. No score here in Caney Creek. Bulldogs about to receive the punt. We'll see what they'll be able to do on their second go round. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And we'll be right back. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Quick time out by Caney Creek. Want to get things right. Got their punt unit in. And the snap is up. A nice high kick. And this one is going to be returned. Hitting the corner. Still got sideline to go. Still in bounds. And look like we're going to have a punt return for the touchdown. Looking to see if there are any flags or anything going on like that. And the Bulldogs are able to get on top and make things for the punt return. But it looked like we might have a conversation with the officials. They're walking back like it's trouble. And you don't want to see that explosive wall set to the left. It looks like it's going to be a spot fall. We're waiting on the call right now. The old Sam was went to work. And didn't get paid. Still some little confusion on the field right now as we're waiting to see what exactly is the call. And they are talking to both sidelines right now. Not sure what's going on. Yes, yeah, we got a, a lull in the action right now. So from the gather and the looks of things, are they going to count it?
No, they're going to say. Now we're getting an official call right now. A holding against the Bulldogs. So that's going to negate the punt return. Bulldogs will maintain possession. and They'll take over first down and 10. And boy, I can imagine Coach Gene Johnson is going to be fit to be tied on that one. So the Bulldogs will be lined up at the 46-yard line. A quick pass down the side, streaking. No one is going to catch that one. That looks like that's going to count. The quick hitter to the Bulldogs receiver. And if I'm not mistaken, that was number eight. We're making sure there are no flags on this one because the Bulldogs actually got that one right back. They're checking. That touchdown is going to count. 54-yard touchdown pass. The PAT is up, and it is good. And with that, the Bulldogs jump out on top with a 7 Zero leave, 54-yard pass for the Bulldogs to be complete. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bulldogs on top by the score of 7 0. Quick pass after the punt return was negated on penalties. Bulldogs able to cast the quick hitter from Godfrey. Godfrey connects with his receiver, and the rest was a foot race. This ball is kicked back deep. And it will not be returned as the Caney Creek Panthers will take over at their own 25-yard line. I said number eight, but that was actually number 10, Bing. I'm sorry, um, Martin, sorry, number 10, Martin, with that reception. 54-yard touchdown pass as the Bulldogs strike first here in the first quarter. Aguilar now brings out the Panthers. He takes a quick pass to his right and it hits the flanker. Flanker gets out across and that was Besaw who's going to pick up about six yards on that one. So it will be second down and four. As the Panthers are going to try to come out real quick here. That touchdown was scored at the 554 mark. 54 yard pass completion at the 554 mark. Ready to go now. There is a handoff right up the middle. And for minimal gain, we'll give them two just for being that it's Friday. How about that? So pick up two yards. Bulldogs holding on to a 7-0 lead. Ready to go now and that pass is going to be incomplete 
Aguilar tried to hit Esau. And it looks like we might have another penalty to go against the Panthers. Not helpful if you're the Panthers right now. Bulldogs and Panthers Friday night football action here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Bulldogs on the road at Caney Creek. Now they're back to punt. And this punt will be caught right at the 40, 41 yard line. Bulldogs will take over here in the first quarter of play. Already up 7 0. Bulldogs trying to take care of the Panthers on tonight. Four minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this first quarter of play. Don't forget, we'll be giving you some scores and highlights of other scores throughout Waller County. Hempstead hosting Hitchcock and Royal and LaGrange doing battle. Rose Hill at Cypress Christian. Godfrey now takes it, hands it off to Stewart. Stewart will get maybe two yards. Maybe two. They'll line it back up. It'll be second down and eight. And they gave a respot on that ball. So actually, they have the ball now right at the 41 yard line. 41 yard line coming in motion. It's Martin. Martin goes and meets and there's another handoff straight up the middle and this is going to be another positive gain for the Bulldogs Lewis takes that one and goes straight downhill you got a dynamic duo in the combination of Mason Stewart and Marvin Lewis Marvin Lewis transferred from Hempstead he was actually originally Wall of Nate went to Hempstead had major success with the Bobcats decide to come back for the 2020 campaign and it is a welcome with open arms Bulldogs Godfrey in the shotgun drops back, now he wants to keep it himself Tuck goes to the left, got some space still running on his feet, down the sideline will he make it touchdown Bulldogs what a run by Godfrey the quarterback to keep things going and the Bulldogs are just adding on right now don't look like any flags were thrown a strong run by Godfrey but wait a minute hold everything here comes the official ah holding against the Bulldogs oh my goodness two penalties to bring back two touchdowns Oh, wow. Not what the doctor ordered. But nonetheless, they will get an earful. I can guarantee you that. And Godfrey saying, come on, guys. I'm running. And it's all for night. So it sets the Bulldogs back 10. And take over Godfrey back. This time he throws a little bubble screen to his left side. Looks like that was going to be intended for um, I'm sorry forgive me I'm getting tongue tied here short gain not much on that one and I'm going to get it right after a while here Here's Godfrey, I'm sorry, the punt unit back out now. And that ball is going to be kicked down and out of bounds. Nice pin back for the Panthers to get things started out. I want to call them the Raiders because they look just like the Texas Tech Raiders. Black helmets, scarlet red jerseys with the black numbers and the black pants pretty nifty looking uniform but 
Got to admit that bulldog gray with the white pants and the white helmets not looking so shabby themselves. So it'll be first down and 10 for the Panthers at their 20-yard line. There is a give to Milo. Milo is met by a host of Bulldogs, and he won't get anything out of that one. So it'll be second down and 10 here in the first quarter play between the Bulldogs and the Panthers. Bulldogs with two minutes and three seconds remaining in this first quarter of play. Bulldogs up 7-0. There's another quick hitch this time to Besaw. Nothing much there. Bulldogs all over that one. So it's going to bring up third down now for the Panthers. Actually, forgive me, that was a first down. That's what happens when you look down and look back up. High school games move so fast. Most of them do the very quick huddles, call two or three plays in the huddle, and get set. Meanwhile, Aguilar is back set, shotgun formation. Running back, set to his right, he hands it off, run to the right side. Got a lane, slipping, slipping through. Advances about four yards toward the right side as... It will be second down, and we'll call it four. One minute, ten seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play. Bulldogs up by the score of 7-0. Bulldogs struck with 554 in the first quarter of play. Panthers do not appear to be in any hurry as Aguilar takes his time. 45 seconds on the game clock. Sends B-Saw in motion to his left. Takes it, drops back, wants to throw, throws to the left side in B-Saw's direction and caught it, but was he inbound? They're going to take a look at this one. The quick throw to the left side and it was inbound and it's going to be enough for a first down. So with that being said, we are down to seconds remaining here in quarter number one. It appears that they are going to let this one wind down and we are going to take us a break as the Bulldogs take the lead in the first quarter play by the score of 7-0. We'll pause for the calls and we'll be right back with more Bulldog action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'd like to take this time to recognize our sponsors and supporters at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Prairie View Athletic Club, Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Diva Skin Conditioner, Helping Hands Lawn Service. Thank you for your support of our local and regional coverage of student athletics here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network live broadcast coverage. We're taking. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to start the second quarter of play. Bulldogs on top of the Panthers by the score of 7 0. Mike Prince here with you on the play by play coverage. Doing this somewhat uniquely by way of satellite, if you would. So Aguilar now with the Panthers going from left to right on your dial. Taking his time. Now he takes the snap. Looks, wants to throw to his right. Whoa, what a big bust up of the play by the Bulldogs. McLean, want to call him McQueen, but McLean in there to break that one up. That one was intended for the back Milo and the Bulldogs. Getting a little hyped up right now. Bulldogs on top by the score of 7-0. 
just starting this second quarter off. We'll try to get you some scores from around the world of high school sports. Tight formation. And look like we may have missed a turnover, ladies and gentlemen. The officials are now talking. And we're ready to go back. Bulldogs on the attack now. Godfrey takes it. Rolls to the right. And that ball is going to be complete down in deep territory of the Panthers. Man, I missed the turnover. It's nonetheless the Bulldogs ball deep down inside the Panthers' territory. So the Bulldogs... Now lined up. And we got another stoppage in the play. Illegal procedure called against the Bulldogs, and that's going to set them back five. Bulldogs on top by the score of 7-0, 10-19 in the second quarter play. Now going back, it's Godfrey. Godfrey wants to throw in the end zone. Overshoots his would-be receiver. Good pressure that time by the Panthers. So the Panthers applying more pressure now as Godfrey wanted to try to hit his receiver down by the 10 yard line. Then they're going to call intentional grounding. That's not good. So the pressure from the Panthers is causing some challenges right now for Mr. Godfrey. Not only does it take you back, but it also is a loss of down. Romero was the intended receiver. Now another quick pass over toward Romero. And it was caught. Maybe picked up six yards. Godfrey got that one and slung it quick to the right side. And Romero was able to get acceleration for about a six-yard gain. So, shotgun formation for Godfrey. Lewis line to his left. Tight bunch formation. Takes it. Godfrey got pressure coming from up the middle. Little middle screen. Oh, that ball was jarred. Great pursuit by middle linebacker for the Panthers, number 30, Brandon Lewis. Lewis with the big play. And he's going to bring up a third down. But nevertheless, there was another penalty. This time against the Panthers, all size was the call. The ball is on the 23-yard line now. Second quarter with nine minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Bulldogs need 21 yards to get a first down. Godfrey checking out the situation from the shotgun position. 4-2-5 look from the Raiders. I'm sorry, the Panthers. I knew I was going to mess it up. Godfrey goes back, throws deep in the left side. Looked like he was going 
for the gusto. He's going to miss that one. Looked like he was in the direction of Romero. Ramos. So Bulldogs now trying to make something. It's fourth down, 16 to go. The ball's at the 23-yard line. Bulldogs going for it. A low snap. Godfrey picks it up and tosses this one. And it was broken up by defensive backs of the Panthers. And that's going to be a turnover down for the Bulldogs. It was a low snap for Godfrey to begin with and a diving, sliding attempt. But he could not come through with it. He's given all he had on that one. Was Mr. Cameron Martin Aguilar takes it, gives it to the up back Milo, and Milo is met by a pack of dogs. Nowhere to go. As the Bulldogs defense has been definitely stingy on tonight, only giving them six points last week. It's going to be second down. And 11. They say he lost the yard. Ball at the 22 yard line. Eight minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Aguilar takes the snap. He's got time. Now he throws across the middle. And that pass overshot Besaw. And it's going to bring up third down. Third and 11 from their own 22 yard line now. Four. The Panthers of Caney Creek. Mike Prince here with you on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics since 2002, serving the community through faith and athletics. Aguilar gets the snap, pressure coming in. He flushes out the pocket, wants to run, and he's going to be met for a minimal gain. Not much to talk about. Actually, they're going to say he lost a couple. So he's going to be fourth down and 13 from the 20-yard line. Seven minutes and 45 seconds remaining. The punting unit will come out for both squads. Bulldogs. Not putting much pressure. The kick is up. Low line driver. Retrieve. And the Bulldogs are going to have excellent field position. They're going to be at the 49-yard line of Caney Creek. And they're going to have some great field position and some opportunities to do some damage here with 7 minutes, 16 seconds remaining. In the first half of play, Bulldogs on top, 7-0. And we got another penalty. And that's going to be a holding against the Bulldogs. And that's going to set the Bulldogs back another 10. So they went from being inside Panther territory to being forced outside of Panther territory. And they'll start it from there. Got to take advantage of those situations. I'm pretty sure Coach will remind them of that when he gets to the dressing room. First and 10. And Bulldogs Godfrey running flushed out of the pocket. He was plenty of pressure being applied that time by defensive line specialist for the Panthers number 46 Mr. Samuel Gallagher rolling out again 
and creating havoc for his second sack of the night. Godfrey in the shotgun formation, waiting to snap. Takes his, his time, he's going to do a quick hitch and hits the slot receiver running is Martin. Martin gets up close to midfield. And that was a good play for the Bulldogs to help alleviate some of that pressure. Ball gets up to the 44-yard line. It's going to be third down and five to go. Big game. That's how you alleviate some of that pressure because Caney Creek is bringing the house just about good front-line pursuit. Now third down in a manageable situation for the Bulldogs. Goffrey looks over to the far sideline, gets instructions from Johnson. Takes it, snaps it, throws it to his left side. That ball's caught. Made a defender miss. Running down the sideline. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a play on making the player miss. And the Bulldogs now are spreading the love and spreading their lead. The point after is good. Bulldogs now with a 14 nil lead. We're going to take us a real quick break. We'll be right back. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. Bulldog striking with the long pass, 56 yards this time to Martin. And the Bulldogs up 14-0 the kickoff now as the Bulldogs clicking on all cylinders right now up 14-0. The Panthers will suit up to take over. Five thirty-five remaining. Or should I say five thirty-four remaining in this second quarter. First down and ten from the twenty-five yard line. Aguilar wants to throw it. And he was able to connect with his receiver B saw but didn't get anywhere. Lost three. Bulldogs pursuing like mad on tonight. Big plays for the Bulldog on tonight. 56 and 54 yarders. It's the Bulldogs taking care of business up 14-0. There's another quick pass to the right side. Looking for B-Saw yet again. B-Saw is hogtied out of bounds. He picks up what he lost before. And now moving with a sense of urgency are the Panthers. 14 nothing is our score here in the first half of play. We'll be giving you some scores from around the leagues and the 
area. Another great pursuit. Bulldog defense is fired up right now. Aguilar tried to dump that off to Milo on a little halfback screen. Nothing going there. Bulldog smelling blood early in this first half of play. is going to bring up fourth down and eight from the 27-yard line. Four minutes and 54 seconds. I'm sorry, four minutes remaining right now. Four minutes remaining. Bulldogs up 14-0. Bulldogs coming off a huge win last week against Katy Creek. We'll get some quick looks around the league, see what we got going on. Doing our halftime report. So it looks like there's going to be a discussion, no penalty. Or oh, is it? We got eyes on the officials. Nothing going right now. Fourth down. As the Bulldogs continue to apply pressure. I want to remind you that you can listen to the Mike Prince Show each and every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We talk about local, regional, collegiate, high school, and college sports. We do hit some professional stuff from time to time, but we stay with the locals, with the pureness of the game. And we come to you live on Sunday nights, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We catch up with Coach Gene Johnson and other local coaches as they recap the weekend that was and look at the weekend that shall be on the next opponent. Bulldogs back to receive the punt. Low line driver. Ball is going to bounce and be picked up at the 36-yard line. And... Going to have yet some more good field position for the Bulldogs with exactly 3.30 left in the first half. The Bulldogs will have the ball two yards shy of midfield on their side. Bulldogs going from right to left, gray uniforms with the burgundy numbers trimmed in white, white pants with the white helmets. Very clean look for the Bulldogs. The Caney Creek Panthers, black helmets, scarlet red shirts with black numbers, trimmed in white, black pants. Godfrey will have this one at the 48 yard line. Barks out the signal, takes it, drops back, wants a pass, got time in the pocket, going down the middle of the same. Oh, overshot the receiver. Wow. Good play, good post run that time. And no one would have caught Mr. Martin had he held on to that one. Second down and 10. That play took seven seconds, 327 remaining here in the first half. There's a quick hitch pass over to the far side. Makes a receiver miss, a defender miss. Another positive game for the Bulldogs as they get down inside the 20-yard line. Picks up some strong yardage. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Bulldogs. That time, it appeared it was Martin on the quick slot pass to advance for a first down. So now the ball is at the 29-yard line. Should be first and 10. They're setting things up. The clock's running with 2 minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Second down and 3 after the little run. This time another delayed run and scooting toward the outside. Trying to hit the corner. Is he in? No indication just yet. But Stewart looks like he just hit it in around the corner for a 28-yard touchdown run. 
trying to get the officials to give an indication. No flags on the play, and the Bulldogs are pouring it on right now. That's going to be a touchdown run for Stewart. The PAT is up and good. And with 218 remaining in the first half of play, the Bulldogs strike yet again. Wow. Bulldogs with a 21-0 lead. Martin with a huge run. 28 yards on the left side. Actually kind of reverse field. Scoot back to create more degrees of separation right now. Bulldogs ready to kick off from right to left. Up by the score of 21-0. The kick is high and deep, and this one will be returned. Oh, I didn't think they was going to try to return the Bulldogs with great coverage on that. Probably ill-advised move, but nonetheless, it falls in favor for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs poured it on right now. Up by the score of 21 to 0. First half of play. Aguilar with a deep hole he has to try to dig himself out of right now. He has two minutes and seven seconds to try to make a dent. Bulldogs are going to try to keep the dents from coming. Ball is spotted. 18 yard line of the Panthers Aguilar takes the snap looks to his right throws toward his right on the deep side and that ball is intercepted by the Bulldogs returning down inside to the looks like the inside the 10 and the defense for the Bulldogs are showing up and showing out on tonight to create the turnover and yet another opportunity to get some scoring in. That looked like it was number one for the Bulldogs, if I'm not mistaken. Make sure we get the right number. Yeah, that was look like we've got to get back to that. We've got action going on right now. There's Godfrey with the handoff going up top, looking and not able to connect that time. Second down and 10, 145 remaining. Godfrey takes it. Forgive me, I got confused just then. I had a little screen jump on me. Okay, now we got real action going. Looks like we may have had a turnover. 
and the Panthers now on the defensive side, forgive me. That was a quick pass by Aguilar. I was wondering what happened. We got a turnover. Ball at the five-yard line. Sorry, five yards to go at the 25-yard line. With 117 remaining. Godfrey threw the interception. So now, Aguilar ready to go back, pumping. Throws across the middle into heavy traffic. Sitting down deep in the middle of that was McQueen. McLean. Panthers right back at it. Aguilar, a quick hitch over to Besaw. Besaw takes it and he's met right away. Clock will still be running as they are running out of time here in the first half. 42 seconds and counting. Second and seven. Balls at the 33-yard line. Aguilar throws to his left side. And this ball was picked off by the Bulldogs. Give and take so far between the Bulldogs and the Panthers as far as turnovers go. The officials are meeting together for a powwow. 24 seconds remaining. It appears that the Bulldogs may have the turnover inside the Panthers' territory. But we got a defensive hold against the Bulldogs. But was it after the fact of the interception? Or it looks like they're going to push the Bulldogs back. Who has the ball? That's what we need to know. Still trying to sort things out. Meanwhile, the offensive unit for the Bulldogs or on the field. Offrey going up top, looking, and not able to connect. Bulldogs have the ball at the 33, 36-yard line of the Panthers, 18 seconds remaining. Offsides called against Caney Creek. So that's going to give the Bulldogs plus five. So the ball now will move to the 31-yard line. 31 seconds remaining. Bulldogs trying to strike up 21-0. Godfrey takes the snap. Looks, throws across to his right side. And that ball is complete. Down inside the 20. And... It appears the Bulldogs will take a timeout. We're close to halftime right now. Bulldogs up. Ball's at the 20-yard line. 10 seconds remaining. Godfrey takes the snap. Rose looks to his right, throws in the end zone. No call, no indication. going to bring up second down with five seconds remaining. The Bulldogs look like they're going to try for the field goal. This will be a 37-yard attempt. So the snap is down. The kick is up. And whoa! The kick is no good. And that is going to take us to halftime right now with the Bulldogs in full control, leading by the score of 21 to 0. 
over the Caney Creek Panthers. We're going to take us a break, and we'll come back with our halftime recap and some scores from around the rest of the county. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Keep it right where you got it. We will be right back. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network live broadcast coverage. We're taking a break from our game coverage right now, but stay tuned. We'll be back with more action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Are you looking to expand your business or services? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network help lead the way. With our customized campaigns, we are definitely able to reach your target audience. For more information, dial 832-213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics. The voice of student athletics. The station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network serving student athletes from Little League, high school, and collegiate coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. From coast to coast, 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 Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of students and athletics. Station design, you in mind, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. At 17 cents a day, you can make a huge impact on our local and regional high school and college student athletic coverage. We provide local talk shows, live game coverage, and much, much more. But we need your support to continue to move forward. Visit our website today at obnradio.com. Click on the PayPal button, which is safe and secure, and become a listening partner today. Will you become part of of the Open Mic Broadcast Network team, visit that website at obnradio.com and become a listening partner today. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the voice of student athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Join us for a daily episode of the Mike Prince Show right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Attention all coaches. Whatever your sport is, we want to tell your story. Dial our 24 hours, 7 days a week message line at 713-570-6736. Leave your game results, team results, and player results on our 24-hour message line, 713-570-6736. Have sports, we'll travel. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics, the voice of student athletics. Hello, I'm Dr. Mike Prince, the pastor of the Temple of Refuge Ministries located in Prairie View, Texas. I am extending a personal invitation to you to come and worship with us Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Simply dial 857-777-0000 and join us for our morning worship. In the event that you miss us live, you can always go to our on-demand center at 720-721-1558 
to listen to our latest sermons and Bible studies. Temple of Refuge Ministries, where we're building the kingdom one soul at a time. Numbers to dial again for our live sermons, 857-777-0000 and on demand, 720-721-1558. Be blessed. It's the open mic with Dr. Mike. The open radio and the mic. Show the open my broadcast network. The open my broadcast network. It's the open mic tele network line. Dial 720-721-1558 and instantly at your fingertips you'll have the latest local news, weather, and sports. Need a word of encouragement? Dial 720-721-1558. The Open Mic Tele Network line features weekly prayer, verse of the week, and local ministries at your fingertips. Everything you need on demand. Dial 720 721 one five five eight. Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. No internet, no problem. No Wi Fi, no problem. No app, no problem. All you need to do is dial seven two zero seven two one one five five eight to listen now. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the open mic broadcast network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are at halftime right now. The Waller Bulldogs well out in front of the Caney Creek Panthers. How you doing? I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you for joining us on our Friday night football coverage here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Bulldogs having stingy defense for the past couple of weeks. 50-6 to six was the score against Caney Creek. I'm sorry, it was the score against Cleveland. It's 21 to 6 now. We got another half of football to play. Bulldogs struck first in the first quarter of play. 54 yard touchdown run for Mr. Martin. Now we're giving you the guesstimated yardage because we are not the official scorekeeper, but from what we're doing with the best we're doing. 54 yards with five minutes and 54 seconds. Remaining in the first quarter play and almost identical in the second quarter, a 56-yard TD pass connection for Mr. Godfrey to put the Bulldogs up 20, I'm sorry, 14 to 0. We then had a 28-yard scamper by Mr. Mason Stewart on the left side and the Bulldogs are holding steady at 21. A lot of penalties in this first half. In fact, too many for me to keep up with, but we'll talk with Coach Gene Johnson about that on our Sunday Night Live episode of the Mike Prince Show, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We also have the Rose Hill Christian Eagles. They're doing battle tonight with Cypress Christian. That game could be listened on our alternative network channel at 857-777-0004. Mr. Clay Matthews is doing the play-by-play on that. We'll try to give you at least a score update by the time we take our next break. Right now, we got other games that we're going to break off and try to get some information for you on for tonight's contest between the Bulldogs and the Caney Creek at intermission. We're going to take us a break and get you back with more scores around Waller County and beyond. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be right back.
looking to expand your business or services? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network help lead the way. With our customized campaigns, we are definitely able to reach your target audience. For more information, dial 832-213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics. The voice of student athletics. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. Do you know what's up with Ryan? He's been acting weird and he's not hanging out anymore. He borrowed money from me and still hasn't paid it back. His girlfriend broke up with him a couple weeks ago, said he was more into his sports app than her. He may be addicted to fantasy sports. We need to get him some help. Sports betting and fantasy sports can have serious consequences. Know somebody with a gambling problem? Get free and confidential help. Call 1-877-MY-LIMIT. That's 1-877-695-4648. Or go online to opgr.org. Let's face it, from time to time, we'll have a need for an attorney, whether it's the case of a DUI, DWI, or any other circumstances that would find you on the other side of the law. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, located at 1047 Austin Street, is the one to call. Attorney Lee Van Richardson and his staff are equipped to help you get through your legal battles. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, 979-826-8008 in Hempstead, Texas. Let's face it, from time to time. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. At 17 cents a day, you can make a huge impact on our local and regional high school and college student athletic coverage. We provide local talk shows, live game coverage, and much, much more. But we need your support to continue to move forward. Visit our website today at obnradio.com. Click on the PayPal button, which is safe and secure, and become a listening partner today. Will you become part of the Open Mic Broadcast Network team? Visit that website at obnradio.com and become a listening partner today. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the voice of student athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, halftime report here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Walla Bulldogs on top of the Caney Creek Panthers by the score of 21 to 0. We got other scores and highlights to try to get you up to speed with here in Walla County, Texas area of Friday night football action as we try to go around the horn and get everybody lined up. Bulldogs enjoying a comfortable lead. We'll get you up to date here in just a moment on how things are going elsewhere. Lufkin, Holston, Magnolia, they're leading by the score of 17 to 7 in the second quarter of play. Of course, our score here, Waller 21 and Caney Creek 0. Navasota, I'm sorry, Neville is at Stafford. They are leading by the score of 21 to 14 at halftime. See if we can get you closer into Waller County with the Bulldogs, Hempstead Bobcats, and of course the Royal Falcons. We will give you a Tumball Magnolia Tumball update. Tumball Magnolia 41. Tomball 21. That game is at the half. We also have some other scores rolling around here as they all seem to escape. Belleville is being handled right now at halftime by Seeley by the score of 21 to 7. LaGrange and Navasota tied at 14. You have 
Conroe is at Giddings. It's 21-14 Conroe on top of there. Hempstead and Hitchcock. Hitchcock on top by the score of 24 to 14, 13, forgive me, in the second quarter, seven minutes ago in the second quarter there. And we also have the Royal game that we're looking for right now that seems to be slipping away from us in our grips. But we want to get that to you in just a second. Anderson Shiro and Catheridge doing battle with no top, no score there, all tied up. And we have, where are you, Hempstead? You're hiding from me. But nonetheless, we will get that on the backside. Brenham and Eastview, Brenham is on top of Eastview by the score of 14 to 6. Still can't find the Hempstead game. And as I say that, they're still not showing up. We'll have to try to give you that one a little bit later on throughout the contest. Magnolia West and Lufkin, we gave you that one. Magnolia West, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Magnolia West and Cleveland. Cleveland is trailing 42 to 0 to Magnolia West. Okay, we got that one squared away. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take us another break and we'll come back. Hopefully we can find that Hempstead game. Oh, Hempstead, we're looking for you. Halftime, Bulldogs up 21 to 0 over the Katy Creek Panthers. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. This is Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network live broadcast coverage. We're taking a break from our game coverage right now, but stay tuned. We'll be back with more action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Are you looking to expand your business or services? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network help lead the way. With our customized campaigns, we are definitely able to reach your target audience. For more information, dial 832-213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics. The voice of student athletics. The station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. Half sports, real trap. The Open Mic Broadcast Network serving student athletes from Little League, high school, and collegiate coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. From coast to coast, from dust to dust. You can catch all student athletic action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the station designed with you in mind. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. At 17 cents a day, you can make a huge impact on our local and regional high school and college student athletic coverage. We provide local talk shows, live game coverage, and much, much more. But we need your support to continue to move forward. Visit our website today at obnradio.com. Click on the PayPal button, which is safe and secure, and become a listening partner today. Will you become part of the Open Mic Broadcast Network team? Visit that website at obnradio.com and become a listening partner today. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the voice 
of Student Athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Join us for a daily episode of the Mike Prince Show right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Attention all coaches. Whatever your sport is, we want to tell your story. Dial our 24 hours, 7 days a week message line at 713-570-6736. Leave your game results, team results, and player results on our 24-hour message line. 713-570-6736. Have sports, we'll travel. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics, the voice of student athletics. Hello, I'm Dr. Mike Prince, the pastor of the Temple of Refuge Ministries located in Prairie View, Texas. I am extending a personal invitation to you to come and worship with us Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Simply dial 857-777-0000 and join us for our morning worship. In the event that you miss us live, you can always go to our On Demand Center at 720-721-1558 to listen to our latest sermons and Bible studies. Temple of Refuge Ministries, where we're building the kingdom, one soul at a time. Numbers to dial again for our live sermons, 857-777-0000. And on demand, 720-721-1558. Be blessed. It's the open mic with Dr. Mike. The open radio and the mic for show. The open mic broadcast. Network, the open mic broadcast network. It's the open mic tele network line now seven two zero seven two one one five five eight. And instantly at your fingertips, you'll have the latest local news, weather, and sports. Need a word of encouragement? Dial 720-721-1558. The Open Mic Tele Network line features weekly prayer, verse of the week, and local ministries at your fingertips. Everything you need on demand. Dial 720-721-1558. 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. No internet, no problem. No Wi-Fi, no problem. No app, no problem. All you need to do is dial 720-721-1558 to listen now. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. Be the one with courage to fight child abuse. All Texans must find the courage to fight child abuse. Learn the signs and symptoms and report suspected abuse to appropriate authorities. Learn and know these warning signs. A child who undergoes changes in behavior, appetite, or routine. Watch for unexplained injuries, a change in academic performance, or loss of interest by a child in regular activities. Trust your instincts. If you suspect something, do something. If you believe a child is in an abusive situation, please call the Texas Abuse Hotline at 1-800-252-5400. Be the one with courage. To find your local Children's Advocacy Center, visit onewithcourage.org. On behalf of children, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'd 
like to take this time to recognize our sponsors and supporters at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Prairie View Athletic Club, Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Diva Skin Conditioner, Helping Hands Lawn Service. Thank you for your support of our local and regional coverage of student athletics here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Halftime report. Wrapping up here from Caney Creek High School. Conroe, Texas Bulldogs up by the score of 21 to 0. We never could find that Hempstead score. We will try to get that to you throughout the course, if not at the post game show. Things happen sometimes like that. But nonetheless, here in Conroe, the Bulldogs are taking care of business. A lot of activity going on tonight. They're still doing some little bit of a wrap-up from the looks of things. It's homecoming for the Panthers. And those are sometimes a bit longer than normal. Nonetheless, it's about these kiddos celebrating their senior year. And it's been some challenging times here of late for the kiddos abroad. Of course, I don't have to tell you about the COVID and everything else that has been connected to it. Total, total chaos. But nonetheless, this too shall pass. As we get ready here for this Second half, the Panthers are coming out. Bulldogs are coming out. It looks like we are just about ready to get this second half a play on. Nice fall night here in Conroe, Texas. Doing a unique broadcast on this one, on tonight. Giving you this game by way of satellite. Hopefully it's to your satisfaction. You guys can help support the cause here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network by becoming a listening partner. All you have to do is visit our website at obnradio.com click on the donation button and just like that you will be able to be a listening partner thanking our sponsors on tonight Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union hotline that we do our interviews on Brazos Valley has 13 different locations to better serve you Rose Hill Christian and the Cypress Warriors doing battle. We're trying to get an update for that one. Keep you posted on the two evasive ones for me, Hempstead and Rose Hills games. But nonetheless, we'll get ready to do it as we get ready for our second half here from Conroe, Texas. Once again, Conroe looking like the Texas Red Tech Raiders. Black helmets. Red tops, black numbers, black pants. Wall of Bulldogs, and it's steel gray, the burgundy numbers trimmed in white, white helmets, and the white pants. Bulldogs will be receiving, going from right to left. It's Caney Creek, ready to try to get back in this one here, in this second half. There's a little squibber, picked up, and... Wrestling forward, and it's going to be the Bulldogs with the ball. That was kind of close. Too close for my liking. Caney Creek trying to start something off here. But the Bulldogs will get pretty good position here. The ball is going to be at the 48-yard line of Caney Creek. (laughs) 
ready to get back. Godfrey. Checking things out. Now he calls for the snap, takes it, and wants to roll to his left. Not much given there, maybe two yards on the play. We'll see where they spot it. Actually, better than what it will look like. Picks up seven. The angle I had was not that positive. But it's going to be second down and three for the Bulldogs. That's going to be a handoff. Well, quick dumper and running toward the right side was Lewis. Lewis gets down inside the 30-yard line. Looked like a little pass at first, but Lewis cut outside, showing some good lateral movement to move the chains. First down at the 32-yard line. Godfrey takes a snap, goes up top, looking, and it's going to be incomplete. Looking for Martin on the far right side. Missed him by that much. It's going to bring up second down and 10 from the 32-yard line. Third quarter action. Bulldogs up by the score of 21-0. Godfrey in the shotgun position. Takes the snap. Want to throw a quick hit to the right side. That ball is caught. And scurrying down inside the 25 yard line let's see where they'll spot him just getting on the way here it's going to bring up third down and three yards to go picked up a couple Godfrey, shotgun formation. Another quick hitch to the right toward the sticks. That ball's caught, running down the sideline. Another big play for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs will move the sticks first down. 10 from the 10 inside the red zone. Lewis lines up to the right side. Give to Lewis. Lewis runs down inside and he's going to be met by, by a host of Panthers. May have picked up a couple. Want to be second down. Goal to goal. Bulldogs cannot get a first down. They give him one yard. Well, they can't. That's the 19. Forgive me. I see at the 10, but the 20. 9.30 remaining in the third quarter. Second down and nine. Godfrey. Has his back lined up to the right side. Takes the snap. There's another give to the back. Going to the left side. Hits the corner. And another big gain. That time that was Mason Stewart. With the little jab step. Went to the right. Back to the left. And picks up some positive yardage. Bulldogs kind of taking control of this game right now. It's going to be third down and six from the 16. Godfrey has his back. Line to his left. Now goes over to the right side of Godfrey. Shotgun position. Godfrey takes it, wants to throw it to the slot. And there's a big catch, burling down inside the 10. Going to put it right about the six, seven yard line. Bulldogs, they want to say it's right at the five. First and goal to go, 8 10 remaining. 
There's another gear this time, bouncing off and coasting into the end zone for the touchdown, five-yard touchdown scoop. That looks like it was Lewis or Martin. But what we can tell you that it was a Bulldog with a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bulldogs strike on their first possession here in the second half of play. 27 0 awaiting a point after try with seven minutes and 54 seconds remaining here. The point after is up and it is good. And with that, the Bulldogs have a 28 to 0 lead with 7.54 in the second half of play. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bulldogs kicking off now up by the score of 28-0. Another deep kick, and this one will not be returned. The Bulldogs' defense will continue to try to put the clamps on the Panthers. Don't forget you can join us Saturday mornings for the Carlos Brown Show. It's a live sports talk show produced here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. 10 a.m. to 12 noon on Saturday mornings. Talk all about college sports, HBCU sports to be more precise with the Southern Jaguar coverage, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, and a whole lot more. Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. And it looked like we had a whistle to blow before the play start. And it was a legal procedure against the Panthers, and that's going to set them back another five yards. And the hits just keep on coming against the Panthers. Bordos up seven, so I'm sorry, 28 0. Aguilar gives this one off to the back, Milo. Milo not able to get much there. Bulldogs are pretty much in control of this one. They're at the line of scrimmage, but taking plays. Now the quick snap. Aguilar looks, wants to throw to his right, looks for Besaw. Besaw got the pass. He gets up close to the 40 yard line. He'll be around the 37 yard line. That will be a first down for the Panthers. Quickly get back to the huddle as a little life comes for the home crowd here with the Panthers. Another pass going up top, down the middle, and we got an interception, or was it broken up? Good defensive play by the Panthers secondary, I'm sorry, by the Bulldogs secondary. And that ball is going to, is it, is they said that was a completed pass? Bulldogs playing some outstanding defense tonight. That, that might have been. It was a turnover. They did say he caught it. It was an interception, so the Bulldogs would take over at their own 30-yard line. 
quickly out now is Godfrey and company. Godfrey lined up in the shotgun. There's going to be a handoff toward the back. Back will get close to the 36-yard line. Running hard. That time it looks like it was Lewis, Marvin Lewis, on the run. Picked up five yards. It'll be second down and five for the Bulldogs. Godfrey takes it. Quick pass on the far side to his right. And swarming on the defense were the Panthers. And picked up another five yards. And it's going to be enough for a first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Quick run to the right side for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs much in control of this one, up 28 nil. About five minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the second half, third quarter play. Got it right then. Bulldogs now using the clock as an ally. A lot of run plays. It's going to be second down and 10 now. Ball's at the 48-yard line. Godfrey parking out his signals, looking over. Taking his time. Now takes the snap. Hands it off to his back to the right side. Running downhill across midfield. Close to the 40-yard line of the Panthers. First down as the clock winds down. Four minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the third quarter play. Bulldogs. Taking their time. Balls at the 45-yard line. It's going to be another handoff. Another run. It's going to get across the 45 down to maybe the 43. Stewart on the run. Stewart and Lewis are the dynamic duo for the Bulldogs this season. Godfrey handing the quarterback duties. Bulldogs trying to go 2-0 and in district play. Up by the score of 28-0. Godfrey shotgun formation. Four receiver set. Takes the snap. A quick hits to the slot. Making defenders miss. Scooting. Going to run. Hits the sideline. Touchdown. Bulldogs waiting to see if there are any type of Flags or penalties thrown, but this one looks like it's going to be clean. It does look clean. Bulldogs striking yet again. Another big play. That one from 43 yards out on the quick hitch pass to the slot receiver. The point after try is up and it is good and the Bulldogs take a 35-0 lead. We're going to try to squeeze us a break in real quick. We'll be right back. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org.
Helping Hands Lawn Service. Thank you for your support of our local and regional coverage of student athletics here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. They have flipped things around right now as we get ready to start this fourth quarter off. And we have illegal procedure to go against the <laughs> Panthers. So that's going to set the Panthers back. Not that they need to help the Bulldogs out at any cause on tonight. Bulldogs in full control of this one. First and 20 from the 48-yard line. Aguilar dumps that one off to Milo. Milo scampering down the sideline. Gets down inside the 20. First down for the Panthers. Panthers trying to get something cooking down inside the red zone. Sure, the Bulldogs would like to keep the shutout intact. Need to get stingy here or try to create a turnover. Friday night football action here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Mike Prince here with you. There is an interception and returning it all the way back to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs. You have got to be kidding me. The Bulldogs defense shows up yet again and takes one right out of the clutches of what appeared to be the first score of the Panthers for tonight. And the Bulldogs are laying it on thick and heavy. PAT was good. Bulldogs with a huge pick six. 90 plus yards on the return. I'm sorry we could not get the number of who did the magicals, but I'm pretty sure Coach Gene Johnson will give us a recap on that one. Bulldogs having their way. 42 to nothing is our score. We're getting ready for the kickoff. Unofficially, I had that one as a 90-yard pick six for the Bulldogs. And if you can name it, it's happened for the Bulldogs tonight. 11 minutes remaining. The kickoff is another deep kick, but it's going to be returned. A little rugby style play right now as that ball gets up toward the 30. 
Bulldogs can do no wrong on tonight. Be sure to join us over the weekend. We'll give you recaps, not only of this game, but games throughout Waller County. Ball's at the 30-yard line exactly, first down and 10. We have 10.50 remaining. Right now, if you're the Panthers, you just want to try to get some scoring to get the momentum going. It's been all Bulldogs tonight. Aguilar takes the snap, gives it to Milo. Milo runs to the left side. He's got some room, churning his legs. Nice positive gain that time for the Panthers running back. It's going to be third down and one from their 39-yard line. Bulldogs 42, Caney Creek 0. Third down and one for the Panthers at their own 38-yard line. Milo goes in motion. And there's a little quick hit screen. And the slot receiver will run close to midfield. Picked up some positive yardage. Quick hitch. That's real popular these days. Middle screen or left side screen. Panthers trying to get something. Start working and moving in their favor. Aguilar back in the shotgun position. Milo set to his left, gives it to Milo. Milo running downhill, gets across midfield. Close to the 45-yard line of the Bulldogs. He'll get to about the 46. They're actually going to say the 48-yard line. Bulldogs defensive lineman looking a bit gassed on this series. They do the shift. Aguilar calls an audible. Now we got some stoppage in the play. And that shift may have caused one of the big guys up front to move a bit prematurely for the Panthers. Pleading his case, like, no, no, it wasn't me. Illegal procedure, Will calls the Panthers five yards in the opposite direction. Wrong direction if you're the Panthers. Right direction if you're the Bulldogs. So now Aguilar ready to go back to action. He looks, throws down the left side. There's another, was that Pitt? Almost great defensive play by the Bulldogs. It's going to bring up second down. Slung that one, tried to get it to Besaw. The money back, great coverage by the Bulldogs. Besaw was looking for a flag. Third down and nine. Aguilar looks, throws up top on the far side, going for the big play. No good. Another great coverage by Walla Bulldog DBs. They say he caught that ball. Wow. B saw went up and grabbed it. Looked like. He didn't hold possession of it from our angle. But nonetheless, what an outstanding grab. Here's a run now from Milo going to the left side. Milo taking care of his little business. Positive run there. Picked up. Maybe half a yard. 
Ball is down at the... Oh, picked up three yards, forgive me. It's at the 14-yard line of the Bulldogs. Aguilar rolling, scrambling, and running. And gets down. He's flushed by a host of Bulldogs. 7.45 remaining in the contest. Third down. Six to go. Ball is at the 11. Aguilar looks. Throws. Oh, he's going to keep it. Milo keeps it. Scampers and runs close toward the goal line. Milo got it close. And as they're taking now, Milo again on the run, straight dive play. And he's moving the pack. Panthers now showing some sort of enthusiasm right now as they're trying to hurry up and get into this one. Another rugby style run at the goal. No indication yet. like we had a little challenge here ladies and gentlemen do forgive us trying to sort this out make sure that everything is still flowing steady meanwhile in the midst of everything the chaos we got a fourth down at the 13 yard line. Timeout taken on the field. Bulldogs in control. They're trying to keep the shutout going. We had all kind of little, little technical challenge just then but we got it all sorted out now we are doing this game by way of studio hope you've been enjoying it thus far Bulldogs commanding 42-0 lead late here in the fourth quarter of play Mike Prince here with you on the play-by-play -play call here at the open mic broadcast network we have a brief post game show when this is done and over with Try to get you wrapped up on at least on the Waller County Schools. Five minutes, ten seconds remaining here. Fourth down and four. Aguilar in the shotgun. He takes it, looks to his right now, back toward the middle, throws toward the middle, and that ball was deflected. Great defense by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs will take over now on downs. That was a turnover of downs at the 13-yard line, and the Bulldogs much in control here with 5.03 remaining in the contest. we got an official addressing the team now. Holding against the Bulldogs, and that is going to extend the drive for the Panthers. Go and figure that one. 
We'd like to take this time. So Aguilar will get another set of downs as the crowd now trying to show a little support for these Panthers. A long time to snap the ball now. Aguilar. Still taking his time. We have first down and go from the seven. Five oh three remaining. We might have some technical challenge from our feed in right now. Appears that the <laughs> stage has frozen. Bulldogs trying to make amends. We don't know exactly what all is going on right now, but we have absolutely nothing to show for what's going on. So with that, we're going to take us a break. We'll find out exactly what the deal is and we'll get you caught up when we return. You listen to Bulldog Action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be right back. This is your traffic safety call. Here in the state of Texas, we get a lot of different weather events may be hot one day and the weather may change next. When a heavy rain event, I want you to continue to be cautious. Think on your neighbors and never, never, never drop in flooded roadways, especially at night. It's generally hard to judge the depth of water on low light. Flash flooding is the number one weather related killer here in the state of Texas. More than 50% of all of our flash flood fatality nationwide involve bills. Saving lives is high and DPS is number one priority. Never attempt to drive through flooded roadways and always remember around don't drown. Some safety tips. Even in the relatively shallow water, should you think about this, tires can act as flotation devices. They can actually lift a big vehicle uh, of several different sizes, sending that vehicle downstream of that flooded area, and it only takes 300 pounds and we'll go going down the road. Where a water covering roadway, uh, it could actually hide or wash out bridges, cutters, also large cracks in the roadway. This in mind, if you are in a low line area, especially an area that floods. You set everything that you have in high position. If you can, leave the area. Never allow children to play in your ditches and storm drains. Keep an emergency kit in your vehicle. Complete with flares if possible. Lights, angles. Be a small flashlight and coat to get your cell phone charger. Other essentials like medication. Monitor your weather authority. Always listen to the public officials, their recommendations and orders. Remember, give yourself and each other. This is Sergeant Stephen Woodard with the Texas Department of Public Safety. This was your Public Safety Talk.
Ladies and gentlemen, we do apologize. It appears that we have had some type of technical glitch where we cannot continue to give you the feed of what's going on. The Bulldogs were up by the score of 42-0. The Panthers has the ball at the seven yard line. <coughs> Excuse me. And the last we see and we still see is they are in the position of trying to score. But because of the way things are going right now, we are going to be stuck at trying to complete this game. But we can pretty much assure you that the Bulldogs should be in the winner circle on this one. Not sure what the cause of the matter was. Maybe it was something in-house. Don't know, but that's part of what happens when you deal with technology. So with all that being said, we are going to see if we can get an update through the app, and the Bulldogs end up scoring again, so now we are back, it is 49 to 8 right now, 49 to 8, we did miss some scoring, we'll have to catch up on that, but we can tell you right now that the Bulldogs are up by the score of 49 to 8. So we'll try to call the rest of this one out as the Bulldogs will try to finish strong here. Gave up the eight. I could assume, don't like to assume, but I could assume that the Panthers scored on that last possession that they had. Four minutes and 20 Five seconds, four minutes, 23 seconds remaining. Bulldogs, 40. Two to six is what they're showing here, but the score app said it was 49 to six. And we'll see if we can get caught up and see what happened here. Apparently, there was something going on with the feed coming from Caney Creek. Nonetheless, we'll play wait and see. For the most part, this was rolling along pretty good. Bulldogs in control. They'll go to 2-0 and in district play. They'll have a bye next week. Be back at home in a couple of weeks. So it's always good to go into the bye with the win. Strong performance tonight by the offensive unit. So what we have right now is saying Bulldogs up 42 to 6. 425 remaining. So we're ready to do the kickoff now. And this is almost like a spoiler alert when I checked and refreshed what was going on. So, showed the touchdown run. It was a touchdown run for the Panthers on the left side by Milo. And this is kind of looking into the future or back into your past. The kickoff by the Bulldogs, and it was, I see what the year was. It was a kickoff return for the touchdown. Sorry, we were not able to give it to you live. We had some technical challenges with the Bulldogs. Were able to strike right back on the ensuing kickoff. That's what made it 49 to 6. <laughs> so the Bulldogs 
on top. Clock we have is 4.11. We're going to save all of us some time and the drama. Let's see if we can fast forward this and see what we got. Bulldogs having a big night tonight. Sideline discussion going on right now. Well, what score app we have right now says it's 49 to 8. Two minutes, 25 seconds remaining in the contest. Bulldogs on top of the Caney Creek Panthers. You go as the feed goes, and this is still showing 411. So we'll give you real time TikToks as we get it right now. But the Bulldogs on top by the score of 49 to 8. Under three minutes remaining in the contest. Bulldogs. And the Panthers doing battle. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to tweet you the remaining of this one. Safe to assume that the Bulldogs will be in the victor circle when this one is done and over with. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at The Mike Prince Show for our latest scores, updates of this game and many other games throughout Waller County, Texas. We'll take us a quick break and we'll be right back. We'd like to take this time to recognize our sponsors and supporters at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Prairie View Athletic Club, Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Diva Skin Conditioner, Helping Hands Lawn Service. Thank you for your support of our local and regional coverage of student athletics here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. We are going to make it official tonight and declare the Walla Bulldogs as the winner. Last official score that we have for the Walla Bulldogs is the Walla Bulldogs way out in front of the Caney Creek Panthers. Score 49 to 8. Bulldogs strong performance scoring at wheel on tonight. Now it's saying 49 to 6, but we do know that the Bulldogs are well out in front. We are going to say good night for now. I want to thank our sponsors, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Diva Skin Conditioner, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Helping Hands Lawn Service. We also have to thank attorney Lee Van Richardson. Once again, the Bulldogs taking care of business victorious over the Caney Creek Panthers by the score of 49 to 6. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Remember to follow us on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. Visit the website obnradio.com and our YouTube channel, Open Mike Broadcast Network. Until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.